What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and share. So today we are doing the Native American Lure Honor. And, and the, the next video will be the advanced version. So if you are following along to uh, uh, um, get the honor, uh, just to uh, copy down what's highlighted red. And uh, once you uh, get the honor, you'll have uh, this uh, patch. Uh, uh, just as a reminder, th th these videos are only for the writing parts. I will mention what you guys have to do on your own. Um, and uh, let's get started. Number one, name five uses uh, made of natural materials by the Northwest Indians. The first one is vermilion. The second is cedar. Third is rush. Fourth is dog and mountain sheep hair. And five, buffaloes. Number two, name five uses made of the yucca, yucca plant uh, by the Southwest Indians. Number one is food, obviously. And number two is uh, the cord edge. Uh, sorry if I'm saying it incorrectly. Number three is the paintbrush. Four is shampoo, and five is basketry, or in other words, baskets. Number three, name five uses made of the birch tree by the wet eastern uh, woodland Indians. Number one, canoes. Number two, bowls. Number three, rattles. Shock. Shake, shake, shake. And number four, firewood. Gotta keep warm during those cold winter nights. And of course, quivers, because all good Indians must hunt. Number four, no 15 plant foods introduced to us by the Indians include four plants, uh, plant names used today. So, we got the uh, Archia, uh, Archia, sorry if I am saying it wrong, Avocado, uh, Chicle, Chicle, again, sorry if I'm saying it incorrectly, Coca, Guava, Chia, Chimoya, Maize, papaya, pawpaw, pecan, potato, quamash, squash, and tomatoes. Moving on to number five. Describe Indian stalking and tracking. For the stalking, trackers use the cover of bushes going down on their hands and knees where now necessary and for the tracking um, the trackers move as quietly as possible because uh, you don't want to scare the animal you're tracking away trackers will avoid stepping on dry leaves and twigs again to make it as little noise as possible number six name a five rocks and or minerals and uses made of them by the Indians. Number one, flint. Number two, obsidian. And number three, clay. Number four, uh, agritite. Uh, uh, number five, stand, sandstone. Their uses for number one, uh, flint is used for making arrowheads, knives, and other cutting tools. 
for obsidian, it, it is used the same way as flint. For clay, it's used for making pottery and uh, 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 and the effigies, or whatever. Used used in art, used for making hammers. Uh, uh, the uh, agar agar uh, whatever. Um, Number four is used for art. Number five, sandstone is used for making hammers, axes, etc. Number seven, explain one way in which arrowheads were made by the Indians. Well, Native Americans made arrowheads to sing a chipping process called Napping. Or this is using. Number eight. Define a pictograph. Uh, what are Indian pictographs uh, and where can you find them? A pictograph uh, is an image drawn or painted on a rock face. Uh, a petrograph uh, is an image uh, carved into a rock face. Uh, where to find them? Petrographs are found worldwide. Number nine. Describe the use of uh, seashells by the Indians. Uh, wampum is a, a string of uh, white shell beads uh, fashioned from the North Atlantic channeled uh, whelk shell and was used by Native Americans who regarded it as a sacred or trade re representative of the value of the art artist's work. Number 10, name at least 10 minerals used in making Indian arts and crafts. Here are the 10. Hair, fur, leather, antler, shell, gourd, stone, ash, grass, and flint. And lastly, for number 11, make a craft item using any of the materials named in requirement 10, the one we just went over with. And with that, happy note, we are going to be ending this video. Please like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.